Well, hello, welcome to Issy's Tarot. Thank you for coming to my channel. You could have gone anywhere, but you came to my channel for that. I'm extremely grateful. Thank you so much. I'm going to do a Sagittarius Love Prediction Reading for November 13th through November 19th. Please keep in mind, this is a general read. If it's not your story, it's not your story. Don't try to make it your story. Just take what you can from it and leave the rest. In addition, please know this energy can go either way. It can be your energy, your significant other's energy, or someone else that's in your love space. Please keep that in mind as you watch and as you listen. If you enjoy my reading or if my reading resonates with you, please give me a subscription or a like. I'd be most humbled. I'm always honored and very grateful if you decide to give me a subscription or a like. Thank you in advance if you do. Let's see what's going on. My fiery, freedom-loving, fun. Sagittarius, show me spirit, guys. What's going on, my Sagittarius? What's going on, my Sagittarius? Let's see, Sag, what you got going on? Queen of Pentacles. Ten of Swords. Nine of Wands. The moon. And the seven of pentacles. Well, Sag. You know, um, the queen of pentacles is here. And this is an energy that you have. This queen of pentacles is all about you and your paper. It's, the queen of pentacles is, is a woman that is all about, it's about her money. Don't get me wrong. It's not like it's a bad thing. It's, it's nothing wrong to me to be about be about your money. But that Queen of Pentacles there um, is all about, you're about your money. Hey, and somebody seems like they wanted to, uh, th thought that you were going to take care of them. I, I do believe that. But they had you all messed up because you don't play those games. You're not about to take care of them. You're looking for someone, on the other hand, that might take care of you. But here's the deal. You broke up with this person. You let them go. You know, because you're the queen of pentacles. Who the f How does he think you're going to take care of him? That's, that's not working for you. You're not looking for that. If anything, you're looking for someone to take care of you. You got your bag, though. You got your own bag. That's why you don't have to put up with any mess. Because no matter what, you've got your bag. But here's this this ten of swords here. And, and, and here's what I see, too, with this. I think the reason, too, that you guys broke up is because he betrayed you. This was It was like you... You probably were paying some of his things. You probably were helping him out. You probably were doing some things for him. And he had the audacity to take it for granted. And when I say take it for granted, um, hmm, I think he had the audacity to bring other women around and to do certain things. And you find out about it and you're like, oh, oh no, 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 no. No, that's not working for you. That's not going to work. And I think you broke it off and you feel backstabbed. I mean, you feel like, Really? I give you my money, I help you out, I, you know, we, whatever, he might have been just going through times, he might have been unemployed right now, whatever, you were taking care of this dude, the, you, were, you were helping him out, and you had, he had the audacity to think that he's going to be able to be with other women and do what he does while you're, he's using your money, that's not working for you, and I see in the middle of the reading that nine of swords, excuse me, nine of wands, I do apologize, that nine of wands, and see, when I see that nine of wands, this dude's trying to come back. And when I say trying to come back, he, you know, he's he's begging and pleading and phoning and DMing and texting and emailing and calling and, you know, all of the above. But you know what? You're kind of like, mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't know if you're going to give him a second chance or not. You know, he keeps hitting his head up against the wall, though, with this nine of wands here. And that nine of wands means he keeps doing the same thing, trying to uh, see... If you're going to come back. And you know the nine of wands also means doing the same thing and expecting a different result. And I kind of think that's what you feel about him no matter what. He's not giving up though. He's being very persistent. He's being very insistent that he can, that he has changed. He's sorry. I, it's almost like you don't even hear this mess that he's talking because of what he did to you. Especially when it comes to your bag, your money. You, you, you play with my money and think that we're going to be cool? Oh no, no, no. But here, I see the moon card here. This could have been a Pisces sun sign. Moon card represents Pisces. But when I see that moon card there, it lets me know that, you know, everything's vague right now. When I say vague, um, this is just, um, everything's just pretty much like up in air. You're just not, 
You're, you're not even thinking about him in that sense right now. Um, in addition, you know, what he did was crazy. You had, you know, it, you know, you had illusions that this guy was a good guy, that he was going to take care of everything, that he might have just been going through a, a rough time. You loved him. And you said, okay, I'll take care of you. I'll help you out until you get on your feet. But here's that moon card there. And that moon card means that, mm-mm, he must have thought you were crazy, but you're not. Because the moon card means that someone driving you crazy as well. He must have thought that you were crazy, but you were not. And you, you have to, you know, you can show him better than you can tell him. And that's why you ended it. <laughs> He's messed up, though. I will say that because you know what? He knows he messed up. He knows he messed up, you know, and I don't know if he's going to give him a second chance because here's that seven of pentacles that's at the end of this read. Seven of pentacles is all about, you know, it's sort of like you're just looking and observing and trying to figure out if giving him a second chance, you know, um, if it's worth it. Even if it's worth it, that's where you are with this dude. If giving him a second chance is worth it, you know he messed up. He knows he messed up. But is, is giving him a second chance worth it or will it just be the same old mess? The same old mess. Would it be the same old mess? Or is it worth it? So give me three to five minutes. I want to clarify the reading just to see what additional information the spirit guys want to tell you about this person. What additional information does the spirit guys want to tell you? Um, sit back, relax, and give me three to five minutes. Let me clarify this reading just to see additional information the spirit guys may want you to know about this person and this relationship. Show me. Why is this queen of pentacles here? Show me, spirit guys. Why is the queen of pentacles here? Show me. Or I have the Ace of Swords. Oh, yeah. You definitely have the truth. Now, that's clarity. That's truth. Yeah. Um, you you found out. I don't know how you found out. But, you know, it might be this just that, you know, sometimes a woman has that intuition. But you found out what he was doing. Absolutely. And you have clarity. You have clarity. You have, um, the, it's the truth. It's it, You know, the Ace of Swords is all about truth. And you have the truth now as far as what this guy was doing, what he was doing, even though you were taking care of him, helping him out. And I don't I don't really say taking care of him. him. He just might have been going through a bad time and you might have just been, you know, paying a few bills for him. It is what it is. It's not a bad thing. It's not always a bad thing. If you had the bag and you had the paper and you could help him out, help him out. And you did. But now you have the truth of the bull crap that he did, what he was doing behind your back. But it doesn't matter because, you know, you wasted no time. All that fire, all that Sagittarius fire came out because you wasted no time letting this behind go when you found out. But you felt so betrayed and hurt by this. So let's see why this Ten of Swords is here. Show me spirit, guys. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Oh, you really love this man. You really did. Could have been a Gemini sun sign as well. You really loved him. That, that lover's card represents the Gemini sun sign. But the lover's card is just about being in love. You really loved him, and for the fact that he did that, you had to love him to share your bag with him. Yeah, because you're not, that's that's not what, how you normally play. You really loved this dude, and he took it for granted. He took you for granted. You know, the lover's card is also about a decision, though. You didn't waste any time when you found out what was happening and what was going on. You let him go. Real quick, yes, you let him go. You ended this relationship. So let's see. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Show me, Spirit guys. Why is the Nine of Wands here? <laughs> I have the six of pentacles. And so this is what he's telling you now. He's telling you that he's back on his feet. He's got, he's, his bag is building up. He can, he can give you whatever you need. He, he is willing to help. He is willing to do whatever it takes to be back with you. He will do whatever it takes to be back with you because he realized that he messed up. He realized that it's not that easy. He realized what you were to him. But I don't know if this is too little, too late. Because the Six of Pentacles is about being is loving, generosity, being kind, a give and a take relationship. But what he was doing is he was just taking. He wasn't giving. And I don't know if you're going to put up with it again. So let's see why this moon card is here. Show me spirit, guys. Clarify the moon card for me, please. Why is the moon card here for my Sagittarius? King of Wands. Uh-oh. King of Wands. Now, I'm going to tell you, Sagittarius, you could have been married to this man and you have, could have been in a long-term relationship with him. That's what hurts hurts even more. That's why you were sharing your paper with him. 
Um, but you could have been, it's, it's, you could have been married to this guy. You, uh, you could have been or in a long-term relationship. You could have lived with him. You were basically taking care of him while he was going through what he was going through. That King of Wands, um, he wants that back. He wants that back, but I don't see that. I think you kicked him out and told him to go on somewhere. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know if you're going to give him a second chance. But that King of Wands has my, my, always been my husband card or my significant other card. Um, and the moon card is here, which means that it's very vague. Uh, you don't know. He, and, and I think that he thought that you were crazy, that you were going to still go on with this. Because that moon card means illusions. And I think you had illusions for him. You had illusions about him and about this relationship. You felt like he was going to do right by you. Because you had been with him for a while. And you felt like he was going to do right by you. And how dare, but he didn't. He didn't. He took you for granted. He took your money and you for granted. So let's see why the Seven of Pentacles is here. Show me spirit guides. Oh, I see a Three of Cups. You're giving him a second chance. I guess you're saying there's too much, too much to lose. Um, and I think also, uh, and I, not too much to lose, but I think you're just saying that um, you've been through the storms with him. But you're, it's going to be a re rejoin. You're giving him a second chance. There's a celebration that's going to go on here. There's a celebration because you're giving him a second chance. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is there and there. And that means you've watched him. You've watched him. He's moved totally different since this happened. He's been kind. He's been giving you money. He's been putting money in your account. He's totally different. Now, here you are, the Queen of Pentacles. You were giving money to someone. Um, and this is someone that you've been with for a long term. This is either your husband or a significant other, someone you live with. Um, and now you have clarity there, though. You have the bag there, though. When I see the bag, that queen of pentacles, you, you had the bag. You had the money, and you were taking care of him. And because he was just, maybe things had just happened, and maybe it was just on hard times. But I think you were taking care of him, but you ended this relationship because he took you for granted. He took you for granted. He was doing some things that he shouldn't have been doing. I don't know. I think with other women, you felt betrayed and hurt because you really loved this dude. It could have been a Gemini because the lover's card represents a Gemini, but you really loved him. You felt so betrayed, so betrayed. But guess what? You kicked him out too. And I think, like I said, this was, you had been with him for a while, this king of wands, but you kicked him out because here he is. He doesn't care how many times you tell him, no, he keeps coming back. He knows he messed up and he keeps coming back. I don't know if you're going to, like I said, you're going to give him a second chance though. But here's the Six of Pentacles. And the Six of Pentacles means that he keeps coming to you no matter what. But he's saying that he's got his money. He's depositing money in your account without you even knowing. He's leaving money for you. He's, he's cash apping you money. He's trying to show that he's changed. He wants to be back in because you kicked him out. You told him, go ahead, be, be gone. Here's this moon card here though. He thought you were crazy. He's going crazy right now because he's not with you. He's going crazy because he knows he messed up. He is a king of wands. Like I said, a long-term relationship, someone you live with or been with for a while. Here's that seven of pentacles, though. Seven of pentacles means you you watched him, and you've watched him, and you are going to give him a second chance because there's a celebration that's coming up. You're going to give him a second chance. You are. So let's see. Show me, show me 